Well, good afternoon, friends. It's Matt from Sky Lake, and I'm here outside Founders Lodge next to one of my favorite springtime shrubs, which is the lilac bush. Yes, they are coming in. Uh, they are haven't quite reached the super fragrance stage, but oh, look at them. They are so beautiful. And soon they'll be really, really fragrant. And we'll see lots of bees buzzing around here and pollinating. And for about a week, we'll have a natural lilac scent as we walk between Riley and Founders. And we're going to walk along the bank here at Riley Lodge. We have a group in for the day. Uh, one of our spring fourth retreats. This one is for clergy. Next Thursday we have some lazy friends coming. And this is one of our events that we've co-sponsored with Church in the Wild. And one of the things that I've loved about uh, Church in the Wild, the new faith community, is that it encourages us to get out and explore creation. It's almost as if it's influenced by camp itself, which is great. So we're walking along this bank. We're just going to stop and look at some of these beautiful little wild flowers that adorn this bank, which the last few summers we've decided to kind of keep in its natural form so we get to see some really great flowers. Here are some beautiful bluettes. Ah, love those. And we have some wild strawberries right over here. And these we may see produce fruit later on. But aren't those cute? And of course we have the dandelions. Dandelions are great indicators that you have a healthy lawn system and also making it healthier. So dandelions, oh, let's come over here and look at one of our carpenter bee friends. Oh, scared it off. So dandelions were very common in people's yards over the years. And then we decided we didn't like them. But we actually do like them because they help with adding nutrients to the soil. It helps uh, uh, break up very compact soil. It helps to strengthen very loose soil. They have a lot of great aspects to them. They also are a, a an edible flower, although I am not going to eat one now. And if you are concerned about using lots of plastic straws, then you can find a dandelion and it's still in bloom like this. You can pop off its head, pop it down here close to the base, and you get a natural straw that you can use. How cool is that? And if we come down here, we see a dandelion that has started to go to seed, and soon we'll start broadcasting its seeds all over. And I personally love the sight of dandelion. It's like a sign that we are in nature. So let's keep walking down here. See if we can find just one more flower. It looks like some maybe flocks over here. Look at these. Oh, aren't they pretty? Just love getting out here. And some 
natural violet. Ah. Well, thanks for coming along on this mini wildflower hike, friends. Hope to see you again soon. We'll be back with our next installment of our... Oh, we found some fauna as well. Look at that. Ah, oh. Hello, friend. You ready to go to on an adventure with Frog and Toad? All right. So, join us. Uh, we still are accepting folks making reservations for this Saturday's uh, volunteer work day. We have lots of great projects you can come help us out with. And uh, we're still accepting registrations for summer camp, which is great. We're looking forward to being able to do camp again. And, of course, if you are a layperson, there's still time to register for next Thursday's Spring 4th event. And uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll, we'll see you again for our next mini hike on Tuesday. Until then, get outside, get wild, and enjoy God's creation. Bye, friends.